wild ride the last couple of years has been. I mean, shifting school environments, shifting um, learning environments. Who, who actually liked virtual learning? I think there's going to be like one person who raises their hand, right? Oh, see? There she is. I see you. Uh, uh, most of us did it, and I think that was tough on both sides of the of the spectrum there for, for teachers and for, for students. Um, you were trying to figure out whether or not you needed to take the SAT, right? We were changing things on, on our end as well. Um, and I don't know that there's been a group of students over the past 20 years that, that I've been in admissions that has been through uh, so much in such a short period of time. And it really shows. I, I was talking to one of our alums this morning who, who reads with us and we were commenting about how hard it was to actually read applications this year. 94,000 applications that we read through freshmen. Um, and every single one of you deals with so much in the world um, at, at a pretty informative period in your lives. And that was hard for us to kind of to, to just grapple with, right? We, we were feeling that. You did everything you were supposed to do, and then to have to work through the, the past couple of years was, was, was really challenging. Um, you shared with us the, the ch those challenges in kind of really dramatic form. Uh, everything from, you know, family members who were sick or may have lost a friend or a family member. Um, you may have had to, to step in for your parents during uh, during their illness and then work, you know, to help support the family. So there was a lot going on. And I don't want to be a, a, a Debbie Downer all day, like I promise you I'm going to make this positive in just a second here, because you all did the, the most incredible things with those challenges. You, you stood up for your communities and in your communities. You went to your food banks to help pack food for your neighbors. You went to the clinics and to, to help your, your, your local um, healthcare clinic out with, with checking in patients and things like that. You did so much. One of you, I, I read an application this year of a student who um, wrote an app to, to um, track COVID within their school district. I mean, that's just an incredible sense of resourcefulness and commitment to solving the world's challenges. So I just want to give it up to all of you um, uh, for, for your work over the past couple of years. Um, this is, I'm new to UC Davis. This is actually my first year, uh, my first admitted class here at UC Davis. And, um, and, I, and I'm proud to say that you all represent um, far and away the most accomplished class that we have ever admitted to this campus. Fewer than a third of the students who applied to UC Davis this year were admitted. And you are all part of that group and we are so very, very proud of you. Um, if you have any doubt whatsoever that you belong in UC Davis, let me just put that to bed right now. Uh, as the executive director of undergraduate admissions, as the person who signed your letter, you absolutely 100% belong here, right? You absolutely 100% have earned your space, and I want you to feel that and to know that and, and just realize that we were we are so incredibly proud of you. So one more time, let's give it up for the students who worked so hard. Now I could not let myself get off this stage without thanking the moms and the dads and family members as well, because for everything that you have seen your students go through, you felt it just as much, and if not even more uh, intensely, right? You have had to deal with the, the worry of, of everything you've seen your, your child going through, right, over the past couple of years, wondering if they're gonna go to school and get sick, wondering if they're gonna uh, learn the same amount of material that they've been expected to learn over the next four years of their life, right, and so on and so forth. And, 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 and I don't know how you do it. I, don't, I have six nieces and nephews. My greatest joy is giving them back at the end of the day, right? So the, the fact that you all are able to just to, to deal with that and kind of guide them and, and, and raise such a wonderful generation of future leaders, our future doctors, our future lawyers, our future poets and, and, and authors and, and artists. I mean, you all are raising an incredible generation. So moms, dads, I need you to actually stand up. Mom, dad, parents, dad, we just stand up. Let's give them a round of applause. So that wasn't a very big round of applause for mom and dad. I gotta say, like, I'm cheering inside for you. Um, so as I mentioned, I'm new to UC Davis. You're all new to UC Davis, so we're kind of going through this together, which is exciting. Um, and I have uh, a lot of opportunities coming up. We have a lot of opportunities for you to, to learn about UC Davis, including the program here today. Um, and although I've only been at UC Davis for a few months now, I, I still have quite a bit to learn. But one thing that I have come to realize about UC Davis very, very quickly is, is and, and that I think is very unique to UC Davis, is really the campus culture and the campus community. UC Davis has been one of the, the most warm, welcoming places that I have ever had the pleasure of working.